You remember last time we talked a little bit about the soul and the nature of the soul. The soul is spiritual, we all know that. But what is the quality of spiritual existence? Eternal. Eternal means no beginning and no end. No birth and no death. No time. Eternity is beyond time. You know about dimensions? Okay. If I have a line, how many dimensions is that? How many numbers does it take to define a line? One number describes the length of the line. Right? Let's call it x. Because it's only the length of the line. That's the only quality that a line has, is length. Okay? Only one quality, only one number, one dimension. Dimension means, if I say, how, what is the dimensions of this room? Maybe 15 feet by 25 feet by 8 feet. Those are dimensions. Three dimensions. Huh? But if I ask, what is the dimension of the line? It's what, maybe five or whatever. One number. One dimension. Now, what about a plane? How many numbers do I need? to give the dimensions of a plane. Two, right. Right, maybe this is x and this is y. Two numbers. Two dimensions. What about a cube? Three dimensions. Three numbers to specify a cube. Now, what about this cube was created at a certain date? <laughs> And then, at a certain time, I destroy it. Now I have a fourth number. Right? Time. A fourth dimension. A fourth dimension is not any one of these three. It's completely different from that. Right? Now, what about time? Past. Present and future. So time has three dimensions. To completely specify time, you have to give three numbers. How long in the past? And how, what about when is now? And how long in the future? So time has three dimensions. Space has three dimensions. Now what? What's beyond time? Eternity. Now, by analogy, how many dimensions does eternity have? How about three? Eternal existence. Eternal knowledge. Eternal bliss. It's not at all the same. Because everything in the material world is temporary. That's why we need three numbers to describe time. The time dimension of an object has three numbers. The existence in the past, the present date, and its existence in the future. Because it's temporary. Right? But everything in the spiritual world is eternal. So everything in eternity is beyond time. So it has to be characterized differently. In the spiritual world, there is no past and future. There is only present. But that present embraces eternity. All past, all present, all future. It's a higher dimension. Just like if there's, let's say there's a little ant walking around on this table. All he knows is this flat 
explain. Right? If I'm standing here watching him, he has no idea of my existence. Why? Because I'm beyond his dimension. I'm in the third dimension. Okay, so similarly, if we are in this three-dimensional space and three-dimensional time, but there's another dimension beyond it called eternity, that means things that exist in this dimension are invisible in my dimension. That's because they're subtle material entities. <coughs> Ghosts are not spiritual. This is a common misunderstanding. If you ask any ghost, when did you become a ghost? Huh? Give, show me your resume. <laughs> He'll say, well, first I was a human being, then I died, and I became a ghost. So his being a ghost has some beginning point in time. That means material. Anytime you have a, be a beginning or an end, it's material. Uh, when you're beyond time in eternity, then you're talking about spiritual. Uh, this is high metaphysics. This is, we're talking at Einstein level. Uh, stretch your brain. Everything eternal has eternal existence. Right? Knowledge about things that are eternal or spiritual things is eternal knowledge. Remember we talked last time about unconditional truth? Uh, that means knowledge that's true in all dimensions of time, past, present, future. Unconditional, absolute truth. So knowledge about eternal existence is absolute truth. And we can know absolute truth even in our present consciousness. Mm -hmm. That's the way that we attain this higher dimension of eternity by studying absolute truth. The truth about the soul is absolute truth. Because if I say the soul has no beginning and no end, the soul is eternal and transcendental to this material world. When is there a time where that statement is untrue? If I say God is omnipresent, omniscient, and omnipotent, that statement is always true. There is no condition, no circumstances, where that statement is false. So that is absolute truth. Absolute truth means eternal knowledge. That's one of the dimensions of eternity. And that happens to be the easiest one for us to understand in our present condition. So when we hear this spiritual knowledge, about the eternal existence, it gives us eternal bliss. Because these three things are always associated with Because they are all in this higher dimension of eternity.